Oh my God, it's so beautiful. This week on our home renovation series, Chris tackles the neglected back deck. I open boxes of beautiful things, and Chris and I are telling you how much we have spent so far. Another week at our whole home house renovation project. We've been getting inspections done. We've passed a few. We have one last one to pass before we can start drywalling. Next week, we should be starting to put drywall boards up and also start drywall mudding. This week, you can see behind me, We've been getting lots of deliveries, so we've been storing those in the garage. Right now, I'm just waiting for Heather to show up. Once she's here, we'll have a sit down and catch you up on our budget and where we're at so far. While I'm waiting for her, I'm actually gonna work outside today. Since we bought this house, this deck has been covered in snow, so we haven't actually known what condition that's in. You can see stains in pretty rough shape. So while I wait for Heather, I'm gonna start sanding that. I also have a load of drywall in my truck to bring in, so I'm gonna start unloading the drywall first, then I'll start sanding. We've got drywall in. I've just been staggering it on each different level of the house just to make it easier when I go to install. That's the upper pile. I've got another pile right here in the living room. That'll do probably mostly the kitchen and a bit of the living room. I still have about 10 more sheets to pick up. For now, I'm just gonna head outside, grab my belt sander and try and get rid of some of this old flaking stain. Hopefully I can get it done by the time Heather gets here and she can pick a stain color for me and then we'll catch up on budget. super excited because so many boxes have been arriving. There are so many cute things in them. I think I'm gonna open up a few so we can enjoy them together and I can show you all of the things that we've been selecting for the house before we install them, which hopefully will be soon because Chris tells me we're getting our final inspection and we'll be drywalling next week, which is amazing. And I think I hear him working on the back deck. So let's go say hi to him. boxes in this little garage it is getting very full i mean look at it all okay, we got light fixtures this one i might not open up because it's got such great pictures i love how it has the little chandelier sort of element like the light that i'm doing in the bedrooms this is for the second floor bathroom and then look at this sweet guy that I got for the little closet in the second floor bedroom. So I'm super excited about him, but the ones I really want to dig into is that gorgeous beast and that gorgeous beast. So I have a little table set up in the sun and I'm going to show you all the good stuff. Isn't this table so great? This is the table. These are random hooks that got left here as well, but this is the table that got left in the house. I kind of love it. And look at how great, I never spent any time looking at this carefully. Are you with me? Like we're taking mudroom coat hooks right off the things I have to buy list because look at how pretty these are with the ceramic end and the brass. I'm just gonna take them off of this board and use these in the mudroom. Okay, that was the score. Last week, ugh, in the car, I also mentioned the vintage chairs that I had and take a look 
how pretty are these? I saw them on Kijiji and I just had to grab them because I want something to stage the dining nook that doesn't feel all new. I definitely want a bit of a vintage character going through this house. I think it makes such a difference when decorating a house, when it has that bit of character. I just love the shape of the backs on this. The black seat I love because it's going to tie in the black of our beam that's in the kitchen. So these were a score. That's not really an unboxing, but they're so pretty. I had to show you. Okay, let's go get a box of lights. I think that this is the light for the powder room. In the lighting selection video, you'll remember I was inspired by the idea of like a light that has like a bendy arm with a fabric shade. That is what I think is in here. So here's our pretty shade. I love it. The size is perfect. Ooh. Okay, it's so nice. And again, it's in that darker, richer gold, which I love. I love how this, when it goes on, it hides that whole thing, right? How great is that gonna be for the vanity light? And I found the most beautiful mirrors. I'm so excited. This room is totally coming together. I am gonna show off the design for the two main bathrooms next week. The powder room's gonna take a little bit longer to give you the design reveal because I need to find the perfect wallpaper. I'm on the hunt and I don't know if I'll have that done this week, but seeing this guy definitely helps get me inspired to think about what wallpaper I wanna pick. While we are on the topic of bathrooms, why don't we take a peek at the faucets that we ordered? Generally, I love if I can use them, the double handle faucet, but we weren't able to do that with the sinks that we got. I just think the color of this, again, it's like the brush brush, but somehow like richer and how beautiful is just the shape of this neck, I think is so interesting. It's definitely like gives a bit of that contemporary vibe and then the lights that I picked have a bit more of a traditional vibe. So I'm really worked to mix modern and traditional elements. I don't want anything to feel too trendy. I definitely want the house to feel timeless and mixing elements is one of the ways to get that really timeless style. I just love this guy. Look, such great detail here on the top. Super nice. Okay. This is one of the ones I am most excited about opening. Oh. This is the beautiful hammered pendant light that I ordered for the dining nook. He came all the way from Turkey. Oh my gosh. This is very challenging to open. <laughs> Layer one is off the box. Oh my gosh. The packing is amazing. Okay, if you end up going to either my Pinterest, where everything is, and it's super easy to find because there's pictures, you will be quite happy to order from the same place because look at how beautifully boxed it is. The next one I'm gonna open is this super gorgeous marble light. If you watch me in my lighting video, you will know that those marble lights haunted me. I so, so, so wanted to use the sconces. So I cannot wait to open him. But let's get into this guy. <gasps> Oh my goodness, it is so insanely beautiful. It's also very big. The color is so good. It's everything I wanted it to be. <laughs> Isn't it so beautiful? Oh, the finish is amazing. So this is the underside. So the light bulb will be there. I'm probably gonna use what's called a reflector bulb that will like shoot some light back up into the canopy. I am. Very pleased with him. Oh, beautiful. We run into a bit of a problem with the marble light. This box is held together with nails. So I'm just gonna have to go get, grab Chris so he can help me open it. I found his tools. He's coming. Wait, wait, just quickly. What's that for? This is for the dining nook. Oh, wow. Isn't it gorgeous? It's beautiful. What are we opening? Did they tell you about the marble lights that I fell in the sconces? I fell in love with the sconces and then we couldn't use them because of the marble countertop. Yeah, Do you remember all this? So anyways, the same company also made a ceiling mount light that had the same piece of marble. So I bought that for the entryway. Can I help? Does it help if I do this? Sure. <laughs> Not really? This is going to be so beautiful. Very excited. 
<laughs> That's what it looks like from underneath. Okay, and then when the light's on, can you, do you think you can hold both? Uh, Is it backlit? No, it's, like it's coming through, right? No, it's too bright. Oh, but you can kind of see. Okay, only one more box to open. And then we're gonna go talk about budget because you're probably wondering how much I've spent on all the pretty things. I know that this one is massive, so you might not get them all the way open, but I wouldn't mind. Oh yeah, this is the arms and they open up. Where's this one from? This is for the living room. Did you get it off enough to see the gold? Oh yeah, so gorgeous. So it goes on that base and then the arms come out and remember it was it's five feet in diameter like it ends up being huge and then these guys go on there so pretty right so you have like this big glowy fixture on the ceiling and nice and tight to the ceiling so it won't like hang out and impede I'm so excited the frosted glass is so pretty cool. i know isn't it unique? I know, I loved it. Etsy, you find such interesting things on Etsy. Well, I'm gonna clean up my mess and then we're gonna go talk about the budget. Okay. Because the people are wondering how much money we've been spending. Too much. Too much. So a couple videos ago, we asked you if you wanted to know about the budget and how much we've been spending on this project. And the answer we got was yes. So we thought in this video, we would break down a little bit of what we've been spending so far. We're not yeah. done. No. <laughs> when we took on this project, I made sort of a budget template of all the things I thought we were gonna end up buying, how much I thought they were gonna be. For all of you, in case you're taking on a renovation, I've made a blank copy of that for all of you. So go down to the description below and just click on the link and I will send you that Google sheet. And I've actually pre-filled it with all of my budget numbers that I used when we took on this project. That way you have some sort of scope of pricing. Yes. It's just kind of a guiding light, but at least it's something to get you started because I know it can be so overwhelming trying to figure out how much project like this is going to cost. So yeah. should we dive in? Let's do it. Bathrooms. Now, have we bought everything? No, we don't have toilets and uh, just the accessories like paper holder, right. robe hooks. We haven't yet decided on the final tile. No. And no mirror. I did and find the prettiest mirrors that I'm so excited about using. So for all of the stuff that we've bought so far and we're not done, we have spent $4,317. The big one that everybody always wants to know, how much does it cost to do a kitchen renovation? We still haven't picked the sink faucet. And I have a few decorative accessories that I still need to sort out. I want to do those pretty fiddle rails on the bar. We have the mirror tile in the bar still to buy. So we have a few legging items, but the big, big ones, I'll tell you, the stone, the beautiful marble was $6,900. The cabinets, and we ended up doing Ikea for the main boxes. And that was... The boxes and drawers. Was how much here? So that was 4,300. But there is a few cabinets they were out of stock on. So we're probably going to be adding, I'm going to say probably another $600 in cabinets. Okay, so we're about $5,000 in cabinetry boxes from Ikea. And then the beautiful Bokia kitchen doors, that was about $15,000, which I think is just an incredible value. Yeah, to get a more of a custom kitchen, quite a good price. $20,000 is way less than it would have been if we had done a custom kitchen. And then what about appliances? 4,900. <laughs> um, that we were over budget, but we added that bar sink, was, which... The bar fridge. The bar fridge, yes. yeah, which is gonna be awesome. I had done a budget of tile for, of about $600. We are now gonna do the stone backsplash, so we don't have that. But we do have the mirror tile for the bar. We do have the mirror tile for the bar. We have the paneling. We have a few other decorative accessories, cabinetry hardware still to purchase. Yeah. So all in for the kitchen to date with a few more things to add. We are at around $32,000, which is about the price to redo a kitchen for sure. Yeah. There's def definitely less expensive options out there, mm -hmm. um, but your design's amazing. Thank you for that. But yes, it's complicated, which makes things expensive. Yes. And we're upgrading with custom doors. And the nicer stone, the marble, instead of a Caesar stone, definitely makes it a little bit more expensive. So you could definitely bring it down from here, but 
This is how much we've invested so far in the kitchen. Yeah. And it'll be a showstopper. It will be. The mud room. Beautiful cabinets in there that we ended up using the IKEA kitchen to make the two closets. Yep. Those, it ended up coming in at around 1800 for that. Okay. The washer and dryer were just under $2,000. For front loaders. The flooring that we got, that gorgeous floor pops flooring that yeah. we needed to use because of the hole in the floor that I keep falling through, that was, um, oh my God, only $180. And I had in my budget, I want to say like $400 for tile. So that was a win. Yeah. Uh, install will be quicker on that tile oh, as well perfect. because they're peel and stick so we'll Amazing. save essentially save money on labor as perfect well. perfect and then those sweet lights guess how much those lights were for the pair they were from amazon amazon right? okay so i'm gonna go low for the pair 30 dollars oh okay well they were 50 which is a bargain as far <laughs> as i'm concerned <laughs> Okay, so we still haven't bought the countertop, but I think the countertop's gonna be about $200. For, because we're using butcher block countertop. All in for the mud room, $4,500. By the time I buy some like, <gasps> we don't need to buy hooks now because the gorgeous hooks I found in the garage, that was a win. Lighting, so this one adds up quick and I'm not going to break it down by light. Leave a note for me in the comments and I'll get you whatever question you have. If it's a link that you need or how much did this cost, just don't hesitate to reach out to us. Lighting so far, I have spent and I still have some fixtures to buy. I am at just over $3,100. And I think I'm probably going to end up around $4,000 when it's all said and done. But okay. this is just decorative light fixtures. This does not include pot, pot lights, lights. dimmer switches. That's all in the electrical. Flooring. I had originally budgeted $6,500 for flooring. I am happy to report that I got it almost perfect. $6,100. And the one thing that was great, painful for the with the flooring was the nosings were so yes. expensive and we have so many stairs. Yeah. So, holy cow. Now we are at the big column of miscellaneous. If you grab the spreadsheet from the link below and you're following along, you'll notice that under miscellaneous is where I include all of the estimates for labor for the whole project. So in there we have all of the plumbing labor, yeah, the electrical, things like garbage cans and permits and all of the random construction materials that add up that add up by a lot so let's do the big numbers that we know were with miscellaneous maybe you write it up there because i'm too short so for electrical for rough in cost and that's like all of the wires that they've been running within the walls and adding switches and breakers in the panel we are at basically forty five hundred dollars i budgeted five thousand so yeah. hopefully the next stage where they install the actual light fixtures and put up pot lights hopefully goes a little quicker. we're not too much over uh, that we have our lighting obviously budgeted for here and then you've got the plumbing invoice you said so plumbing so and that's for the rough in plumbing so again there's going to be a second visit from the plumbers for the final install there's always two trips with these types of trades the first trip is when they're doing everything that's happening inside of the wall and we call that the rough in and then the second visit is the final fit and that's yeah. when they're installing the final fixtures and putting in the final taps and light switches yeah. and things like that taps they're plumbing under the sinks so they're adding yeah. shutoffs and doing the traps on the drains yeah um, so that so one for rough end, four thousand forty-two dollars. We have budgets for things like paint and trim work and doorknobs and doors. If we we think we're reusing the original doors, but I have a number in there for budget in case that doesn't work out. So we haven't spent any of that money yet. The garbage disposal. We're on our third bin and. It's roughly $500 a bin. $1,500 $1, just to take away the garbage. <laughs> Hopefully we won't need another bin. That would have bought I more think, pretty lights. I think we're on their last one. Fingers crossed. But off. it adds up. But there is that dumpster bag that we talked about, I want to say in video number three. So if you're doing a smaller renovation, those dumpster bags are good savings. So no you don't always need a giant $500 yeah. per trip bin. The permit. Yes. I was blown away yes. when I saw the bill for that. Tell the people. <laughs> It was about $900 for the permit. $900! And that's just the building permit. So mixed in with our rough-in electrical and rough-in plumbing, we did have both those permits um, that the electricians and the plumber forward on to us. I hate all these numbers. These are very unfun numbers. You go to a Home Depot 
how many times in a day? At least once, probably. <laughs> Not joking, like yeah. for real. And then in all the various trips, with all of the framing lumber. Drywall's a big one that adds up quick. Screws to screw down the floor, all those screws. Yeah. The concrete board for the yeah. fireplace. The concrete board, we have den shield board, which is kind of like concrete board for around the showers. The waterproofing for the showers. So many things. So yeah. I put in a budget of $10,000 just for the untrackable, random things that add up. And so far right. we have spent $6,200. So, and that number is definitely going to go up it's, it's, from here. It's but, constantly going up. Yeah. As we start getting to drywall boarding, we're getting less and less, but yeah. there is still going to be some random stuff yeah. that we're going to need. So, the total that we've spent two days, 67 four, one, two ish because we have some random rounding. We've probably missed some yeah. things, but that is where we are for renovation costs. I think, what did I say in our first video that I thought we were going to spend about $80,000 yeah, on that was, the, that that was, was our... the original. And I do think that we're on track. I think the 67 looks really scary, but yeah. we're but, at the tail end of the buy. Yeah. Now. So it's very front heavy. Obviously we're ordering things ahead of time. Yeah. I think I do hope that we'll come in around the 80,000. I mean, I'm planning for things like wallpaper and the powder room and well, and there's always things that come up or change. Like yeah. um, the deck's been covered with snow. It's finally not covered in snow. And we realized we have to sand it and put a yeah. kind of state on it. Yeah. And so, so I think as a good rule of thumb, if you're planning a renovation, if your budget is 80, Add 20%. Get the spreadsheet from the link below. That's going to get you at least some sort of scope of numbers. If you are planning a renovation of a smaller scale or this scale or even bigger, you'll have some sort of sense. Yeah. So one thing with these numbers is there's no labor cost for me. That is so a great point. So if you're hiring someone to do all the work for you, then there, there will be a labor number for you. Yeah. And I mean, we've got the labor numbers here with the electrical and the plumbing. And yeah. actually, this is my rule of thumb. The number that you have for the item that's being installed is usually the exact same as the labor cost. So loose guideline, double the cost of your materials for install, if install isn't included in the quote that you're getting from somebody. I didn't plan that. That just like worked out. My rough rule of thumb, she's reliable. I think you, I wouldn't double the kitchen, but things like the flooring, like the $180 of flooring downstairs, this install would probably be like four or $500 if you had to pay for somebody to do that. So yeah. use, be logical, I mean, within reason. So we really hope that that helps you out. We are going to sleep good tonight, even though this is like, <laughs> I cannot believe how much money we've gone through. I'm excited, uh, yeah, to start moving forward. I know, because so drywall we next week. Drywall next week. We have our last inspection booked. Yay. And then so start excited. drywall morning. And I am sharing tile designs for the two main bathrooms. Powder room. I don't think I'm there yet. I want to find some really beautiful wallpaper. I'm really excited because I found the most beautiful mirrors I'm excited to use. Actually, that reminds me, I got to go because I got to go measure the space I have between the wall sconces. But we love having you here. Leave a comment below and let us know what you'd like to see us do more of or less of. And thanks for watching.